JKS is going to be down into the clutch, and he falls. Tronic getting taken down. Havoc will follow it up. Three kills so far in the Tech 9. Quad kill with it. 40 seconds. That's maybe the only thing that's a bit scary if they get slowed down too much. Don't want that happening either. Shiro is here. And that's the other problem, of course. Now backup has been uh, called for. Hobbit's going to be there with a couple of kills. And Shiro, it doesn't even matter. He's trapped in the corner, jumping for his life. He's going to get a triple anyway. What an absolutely monstrous player he is. But they did finally throw that grenade, uh, proving that they know everything that we do and more. Electronic getting taken down. Hobbit will follow it up. Three kills so far in the Tech 9. Quad kill with it. Now he's in a one-on-one -on -one against Boom, which he's picked up DAWP. Doesn't really care about the flashbang. Still going to be moving up along the line here. And that's the ace to finally get into the game. Fantastic round out of Hobbit. That's the person who's supposed to stop it. But Hobbit all too slick. And Shiro sick angle. They cannot get him out of here. Gambit. Three kills away from closing Vertigo and stopping Complexity when they damn well thought they oh. had a chance. Shiro's had enough. And Complexity battered and bruised. In a 2v5, have no right to continue this second map. But one hell of a series and one hell of a showing from Shiro. He finishes things off. And again, they really want to keep that rifle alive. I don't know if they want to risk it. Wait, where is it? Where is the right? Oh, they managed to do it up on the roof. How? I need a definite new replay of that. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. There was an HE involved. Yeah, it lands after the fact, and it just. It just stays Catapult up there. That, that he, they're so lucky that the that the rifle shot landed in a place they can shoot it off the roof. Inside of the smoke, not really sure what he's shooting at at the moment. Shiro almost getting run down, but he still connects with a shot, taking down Mihu. Oh man, he's so hard to get rid of. Axile with a double. Shiro, he's right there on top of them, and he's gonna no scope his way in a double overtime. Why not? Nafani comes through. That's one good kill. Ten seconds on the clock as well. Mihu, he's got one headshot. They're creeping in and enters. He's just shutting it all down. There is no time. It doesn't matter what Mihu does any longer. Smothered in the back of the B site. They're running so close. The Glocks absolutely overpowering. Jumping around the corner. Nafani, style points for that one. <laughs> yeah! What a reaction from Groove. Awesome. Hoping to explode out onto the catwalk and into the A-bomb site. That's a nice little jump down. But they are getting picked apart here. There's no real danger. If they try and see if they can run down that AWD on Shiro. Miho. All right. Good for a kill. But that is about it. And Gambit take the lead now on Dust 2. 11 to 10. Taxile. Oh, man. Two does. players walk right in unready. Now we've got the MP9 on the close smoke too. Axile, he knows his angles. He will die to poison. And you can try to target those kills, but look again, he's got a crack in the smoke here, waiting for them to make one extra step. And Rush would be that guy. Right there. Delivered. The Eagles continue to clap. And Hobbit gets all the closer. He's gonna sprint in, finish things up with that MP9, makes an abundance of money with three MP9 kills. Axile putting a couple of shots in. Hobbit is lightning fast with the flank. Oh, wow! He runs in. Axile not giving them any space, and that's gonna win them the round. Boom, which is waiting down middle. 15 seconds on the clock. Inters MP9 up there. The flash does work for a kill. And is it enough? Oh, the MP9, it does so much work for him. Electronic on his own with no time at all. It does not matter. He can't win the round. And Navi, back to back rounds of leaving themselves no space. Gambit taking a break, but now they are officially back. Hobbit at it again, catching Perfecto, pushing out for the smoke. I love that boost. I freaking love that boost over the top. That is so brutal. Just changing the levels makes it so difficult in terms of the pre fire and when you're as fast as these guys are, even having to change your crosshair just a little bit oh. can cost you. Look at the risk that he took of it. Walking up here, Electronic had no idea that was coming. Now he's Molotov'd it, he's ready for more, he's got the right idea. He is a one-man army on this map here. Anaphany and Inters, two versus four. I don't know if they know how low they are, 
But if they did, I would maybe be a little bit more encouraging. Nafani one versus four, and he's already got the kill on Electronic. One is down there, but that kid picked up or anything. He's gonna get one of them catching simple. They're worried as they run past into CT spawn. He's hearing that Nafani as well, and now Electronic is gonna go for it. He heard the last guy run past. Boom, which is going to be dropped. No bomb plant yet. So, Electronic, he can't wait forever. He has to go help out his team before that happens. He swings around the corner, but a nice spin. Nafani able to get the kill, and that'll be the round. Gambit, huge save. Nafani with a quad kill. Well, maybe, maybe Nafani's actually going to find out before. He's seen two already. There's a third. Is he going to call it in? Are they going to back it out, or are they going to keep going? So far, no one's killing him, so maybe they don't even care. There might be a stack, but if it's not doing anything, what does it matter? Oh, no, that's the bomb. If Axile goes down, that's a disaster. He will be dropped. Electronic, that is a pivotal kill. There's plenty of time, though, so they can go for it here, but a two-on-two, -two, very awkward scenario. Perfecto, maybe thought he even spotted, so didn't want to stick around in that corner. He has a Molotov. I don't know if he wants to use it already, but they don't have a smoke to put it out, so it's a little bit interesting here. 30 seconds on the clock. He's not doing anything with it yet. Just going to go for the straight-up fight, and Shira will take him down. That is... That's scary. Nafani is also running in, but they didn't see a bomb or anything, and now they find it outside of A. So it's pretty much confirmed now that it's going to be that A play. Intus will open up and take down Electronic. So even fumbling that bomb just a little bit and getting lost in the meanwhile doesn't even matter. Still getting every single kill and simple in a 1 versus 3 on his own. So, yeah, Gambit just even, even when they slip a little bit, doesn't really matter. Simple, gonna be pushing through and Intus will drop him. It is 12 to 3 at the end of the half. No cat flank though. A smoke to give a chance at Axile's retreat. We'll see if he can manage to get away from this. Counter terrorists already so close to the site and Axile wants to take one down. He's playing very proactive, but unable to find an angle just yet. There's his kill to Boomich and a second onto Bit. Shiro connects to Simple Perfecto, not able to clutch. A 2v4 from Gambit to keep that four round lead. Damn, that post plant was too sick. There was not a real way in for Navi and the smoke that they threw down on the backup single allowed Axile to take the duels as he wanted to. Now, Shiro has a smoke here as well that was just so annoying. Perfecto should be nullified, but he looks to gamble with this as Electronic just jumps over the E-Box. And look at this, Perfecto! Closed in on by Axile, who's nearing double digits, currently 9-5. and five. Axile is ridiculous. He had a rough series the last time he played against Na'Vi. So did Shiro. Mm -hmm. They still ended up winning. Oh, Hobbit. Yeah. Various part Hobbit. 2K into CT. Electronic last one up. He got such a nice kill off, C off Cat with that CZ but he cannot complete the round. This is Axile. Yep. Oh my God. This is a B split. Nafani. Oh Simple oh. back completely. He can turned. take his time with this as well. He can maybe line up a second on Cat. He's gonna yep. see him both. Execution comes in. Nafani with the clutch play. Still hunting for the round if possible. Simple has made his way out of the balcony. One inside of Sandwich, that's Hobbit. And he is comfortable there. Very, very comfortable. All too easy. There it is. 10th round for what it's worth. Other than Electronic, who has literally one man army this round, trying to save Navi oh. from an embarrassing fourth round result. At the very least, Gambit will take that bomb plan. Oh, I see. I was wondering why Perfecto didn't want to commit to rotating into the site. He found a better gun to work with here. One player crossing a bench. That's info for the market player to take care of. Oh, excuse me. Electronic's going to double up with him instead. Good jump. Shiro's P250 shouldn't do too much. I'm worried about Nafani. If he swings wide with that Deeg, Shiro's trying to draw the attention. And Nafani, he does get the one he needs. Shiro over the other shoulder, and Gambit rob away. The perfect contingency set up the eco. They steal back. But how do they get Hobbit out of this position? If the Palace player doesn't kill him, then he's going to turn his attention around. And it's Nafani with Shiro to open up. 3v5, or Gambit take the cake. Shiro ever patient. Oh, he just blew Electronic's hands off. And then Axile in with more damage. It has to be simple. He's got the one kill, but he needs three more. And Gambit, one away. One frag away. Simple falls silent. And he tries to close that distance into Shiro. Opper versus Opper. Prodigy versus God. He sees it at a distance, and Nafani's gonna take it. It is Gambit as your Blast Premier Spring Finals Grand Champs.